All right, good day. This transmission is part two of Becoming a Galactic Citizen, titled The Door. In part one, in your imaginary house, we asked you to start looking out the window to see that there is more going on in your skies and all around you with regard to the comings and goings of extraterrestrials, even though they may generally have been invisible to you. We are all right here, right now, and it is a matter of allowing your senses to become attuned to our existence, our presence, all around you all the time, coming and going, doing different things, exploring, observing, interacting in a variety of ways. And today we will be allowing you to move out the doorway of your imaginary house into the yard so that you can look up at the sky and again attune your senses more keenly to the idea that our ships are coming and going all the time, that there's a lot of traffic in your skies, a lot of portals through which many different interdimensional and extraterrestrial beings may be coming and going, some stopping to observe, some simply being on about their business, but that you are part of a galactic community and that you become more and more aware of this as we go on. Now, the acceleration of things that are going on on your planet will create a situation and a scenario in about three to four of your years with a 90 to 95 percent probability that somewhere around your year of 2026 to 2027, Earth will experience a major contact event. We will not go into, at this time, the circumstances on your planet that will create the opportunity for this event, but suffice to say that certain conditions, certain choices, certain scenarios will accelerate the need for this event. This is one of the reasons why, at the end of your year of 2026, our transmissions will take on a completely different nature than what we have been doing with you. It will be on a different time scale with different information that will take advantage on the timing of our choosing of what is going on in the momentum and the increased probability that leads to this major contact event for your planet. We will say no more about it at this moment, and we will continue to add more information as we move forward during this window of open contact. But look to this timing, this probability of a major contact event in three to four of your years. So, in the meditation today, we will take you through the exercise that will allow you to walk out the door into your imaginary front yard, to look up at the skies and attune your senses to more UFO activity, more extraterrestrial and extra-dimensional activity. But for now, that will suffice for today's transmission, excepting for what now remains for you to enjoy as your meditative exercise and experience. So relax, step out of that doorway, into the yard, and into more and more probability of open contact. Enjoy. Now we invite you all to become very relaxed for this short meditation. Allow yourselves to breathe deeply and easily. 
bring in whatever lighting or music you wish. It's up to you. Eyes open, eyes closed. It doesn't matter. Let your imagination have free reign in this. And remember the first part where we had you in your imaginary house looking out the window. Now we invite you to go to the door. As you see yourself walking to the door, as you gently open the door, as you allow yourself to look outside into the yard, there is a fence and a gate beyond of any configuration you so desire, but right now you stay in the doorway, looking at the yard, looking at how beautiful it is, be it landscaped in one way, shape, or form or another is up to your imagination, whatever feels homey and comfortable for you. And as you stand in the doorway regarding the day outside or the night outside, again, any time, any temperature that is comfortable for you, you allow yourself to find that one spot in the yard that is your spot, a perfect spot, to be able to gaze up at the sky. And you go and walk to that spot, or sit in that spot, or lie in that spot. Again, let your imagination be your guide. And you feel the spot holding you, as if in its arms, nurturing you, supporting you, comforting you. It is your spot. It is you. You are you in this spot. As you have come through the door to this new realm, this new place that welcomes you and that you feel comfortable in. It is still part of your home, your imaginary home. But now you are outside, looking up at the sky, be it the day sky, the night sky, with clouds or not. And you allow your eyes and your senses to sort of focus on a different level of the sky, a deeper level of the sky. And you start to see little flitting images or lights or things that almost look like heat waves, invisible, but they're there. And you see them going to and fro, coming and going, flitting like insects through the sky, flying hither, thither, and yon, coming through open portals and closing them, going into open portals and closing them, back and forth, crisscrossing the sky in a number of different ways. And every now and then one may stop and regard you down there in your yard, in front of your house, having come through the door, and send a greeting, send a message, just a quick hello, or an energy of love, or just a connection of some sort. And you just become aware, fleetingly, or at length, of this connection, this awareness, this bond, and then it goes on its way. But the feeling lingers, it stays with you. It stays in your mind, it stays in your heart, it stays in your soul. It will never go away. Whether you feel it or not, it will always be there. You have come through a doorway to a new place, a new level, a new understanding, a new vibration. And you stretch your senses out as you stretch your body and feel that comfort, feel the warmth and the ease, the familiarity in your yard. And you know that there is, again, that wall, that gate, that fence, all around the yard. And you don't yet venture there because right now you belong right here, outside the door, having stepped out having opened yourself up, having created an invitation in your mind and your heart and your soul, and welcome, welcome those travelers, those observers, those witnesses, those helpers, those members of your family, both in spirit and extraterrestrial and extra dimensional. And you allow your senses to become sharpened more refined, to be able to see, to be able to sense the increase in the coming and going, in the participating and partaking of all of those entities as they start to recognize more and more deeply your willingness to interact, your willingness for more contact because of your willingness to be more of yourself. It's not that you need them 
but it's that you invite them as an equal, as a different equal, as something beautiful, just as you are, as something worthy of interaction, just as you are, as something loving and loved, unconditionally, as you are. Now stay in this yard and just enjoy and relax and feel yourself fully, body, mind, and spirit. Feel yourself fully, relaxing into, melting into the beauty of this yard, the welcoming of this yard, outside your front door of this beautiful house that is yours, where you live, where this house is you. It is where you live. It is your creation. It nurtures you and supports you, comforts you, welcomes you, but also allows you the free reign to venture beyond the window and out the door and into the yard, step by step. Even though you know your next steps will take you to the gate, allow yourself to bask right now in the sunlight, in the moonlight, in the starlight, or under the clouds, or the open sky, and feel the breezes, and feel all the life around you, in the yard, on every level, the plants, the insects, any other animal, other people you may have chosen to invite in, even for a flicker of an instant, spirit guides, soul family, invite them all and stretch beyond the invitation to extra dimensional, extraterrestrial beings and of course, as always, your own higher mind and source. All are here, all are now, in your yard, your very own yard, in your imagination, in your consciousness, a beautiful space, a beautiful place, beautiful race of being. Breathe it in. Smell the grasses, the plants, the trees, the air. All it nurtures you. All it comforts you. All it supports you. All it loves you. Unconditionally. For that is the vibration of all that is. That is the vibration of what you call heaven. The world of spirit is permeated, as is your house and your yard, with unconditional love, the frequency of existence itself, in every cell of your being. It's beautiful, it's wondrous, it's miraculous and mysterious, and therein, that mystery, lies all the answers you seek, for all exist within yourself. Discover them. Move forward with excitement and curiosity and joy. And we welcome you home. We welcome you home. We welcome you home. Contact has begun. Continue to breathe deeply, gently. Our unconditional love to you all, our deep appreciation to you all. We are in service to you. Avail. Good day and sweet dreams.